In this video, I'm going to set up my MongoDB. Uh, you, what you see in here will be a little bit different from mine. Um, and in that case, it's because parts of what I do, I already have done. So I can't do it again, uh, unless I just have to start over or I have to pay for it uh, to create an entirely new cluster here. But there are many good documentations online and this is one of them for at medium.com uh, and a guy named Sergio 13 press connecting to MongoDB Atlas uh, and the doc uh, the article looks like this so this is a walkthrough of how you would do it so some of the things in here I can recreate um, but I'm going to show you what it is going to look like when once it's set up basically so if you follow this step by step you need to log in, of course, create your uh, MongoDB. I'm just logging with Google, as you saw. Um, and if one of the few th first things we need to do is we need to build a cluster. So this is one of the things I can't do in this video uh, unless I pay for it again uh, or more. Uh, and again, this is just follow through what you need to do. So these steps here. And once you have a cluster set up, then you can start incorporating your databases. Just take it slow with this step by step and it should work fine for you. Now. I'm going to go out to the first level here, so it looks a little bit different. So I have a cluster now, and this is, again, this just called CRUD test version one. So this is funnily enough the one I use uh, to test before I create the videos. And in this one, it's empty again. It, once you have your cluster set up and you created your database, again, following this, um, this guide up here, you will see, well, you won't have the data here as I do, but in here, this is basically what you need to have. And as you can see, this is a free one. I can only create one. I don't want to delete it um, because I'm using it for other things. So what you have, or once you're at this specific step going through the guide, uh, the thing we need to do is we need to click connect here. And um, as you can see, so if we're at this spot here, click your databases, if you're not here, and then we can have a name of your cluster and then all these different things. If you have information, you click browse collection. Right now this is empty. Uh, so there's nothing in here. As you can see, once data will be populated, it will be in this collections here. So collections is similar if you're like, you know, Firebase as well. It's also called collections in there and most of my, the you know, SQL ones. But click connect. And the one we want to grab here is connect your application. Uh, and basically the thing we want to grab here is this link here. So I'm going to copy that and for now just keep it in my clipboard here. But that's basically what we need for now in here once you have this set up. So Node.js version 4 or later, that's fine. And I'm just going to paste this into my app right now. So I have it here and I'm going to, oops, that's the different, the wrong side of it, like so. So I have this ready for when I need it. So what you need to do, which I can't show you sadly, um, is follow these steps, these steps from in here uh, with the clusters. Oh, there's actually some extra stuff here, but I'll go through this one as well. Um, but all the way down to basically this spot here uh, where they have this set up. So try to do this now and hopefully you will have that ready for the next part of the videos.